Hi, this is some old guy coding again, and uh, we're just going to do a quick one this time, a little tight on time this weekend. I was going to en uh, engrave a uh, uh, door sign for the mother-in-law, and there's a bit of a backstory on this, but I won't bore you with that. Um, she sat here, uh, she usually sits in the chair next to me here, and, and I picked a bunch of interesting fonts that were frilly or angular or something that would be interesting to uh, engrave with a V-bit. But uh, she really liked the plain, rounded font. So, I went into, um, which, is, which worked out well in the end, because I went into... Uh, uh, Fusion 360 here and tried to uh, get this done. Um, I quickly got frustrated with it <laughs> again, but I'm getting closer. Um, I did, uh, if you're brand new to Fusion 360, be sure to get in the profile here. And uh, not the profile, my apologies. Uh, let's go back into the preferences rather. Preferences right here. And if you don't already know, make sure you click this reverse zoom direction because uh, it's like the uh, scroll wheel on the mouse works opposite of everything else that I have. So uh, make sure you click that to avoid a little bit of uh, um, frustration. But anyway, I, I got to this point here and then I'm trying to get the engraved bits and I said oh, I've had enough for today. So we just uh, took this guy and exported it once again just like we did the little inch and a half inch, uh, inch and a, I'm still doing it, uh, inch and a half coins from last week. <clears throat> And uh, we export it that way, and I exported it as a ping. And we're going to use Laser Etch. So unfortunately, Laser Etch likes uh, BMPs. And rather than going into Windows and doing this, uh, um, there is a uh, kind of a hidden feature on the Mac uh, here. So if we open up the uh, Jolene uh, that ping, and in preview here, if we say export. <coughs> Of course, if you look here, there's no BMP, but if you click off of that, hold the mysterious option key down, and then click on it again, you'll get a lot of options here, including a Microsoft BMP. So when we export this, always remember to take the alpha off where it won't work. Uh, so uh, then, of course, I saved that and uh, opened it up in... <coughs> in laser etch here and there it is and I exported this again just like last time at 400 dpi which is probably a bit overkill for this one actually uh, I did take like 12 and a half hours <laughs> to uh, finish uh, cutting <clears throat> but nevertheless um, we generated it in here with the same settings as before um, kind of a, a lower power and a lower speed just to, for quality purposes. Uh, let's see. That's the image. Here we go. So I did uh, uh, 55 power on here on the laser and uh, uh, at uh, a laser cut at 100 uh, uh, millimeters per minute. We save that out to a flash card. <clears throat> And unfortunately, thanks to a, a, a partially dead battery, I didn't get a whole lot of video on this, but I will insert what I have. 